Andy, did you hear that? Come on, will you? Did I hear what? That whistle. That's the Rinso White whistle. And Rinso means us. That's right. Rinso gets clothes Rinso White. And Rinso presents the Amos and Andy Show. Rinso for a wash that's... Rinso white. Rinso for a wash that's... Rinso white. Rinso helps wash day go like a song. Those soapy rich suds get out stubborn dirt fast. Leave white things snowy, Rinso white. Washable colors gay and fresh looking. Rinso bright. Safely, even after dozens of washings. And Rinso's anti-sneeze, too. It's made by an exclusive anti-sneeze process and is 98% free of sneezy soap dust. No other granulated soap can make this claim. So next wash day, remember. Rinse so white. Rinse so white. Happy little wash day song. And now our stars, Amos and Andy. There's only one thing the kingfish likes better than going down to his office and taking it easy. And that is... Staying home and taking it easy. It saves him the trip. At the moment, the kingfish is home alone, sitting on the sofa, reading his newspaper, with his feet perched up on the chair. His wife, Sapphire, who's been out shopping, is just putting the key in the door. Oh, the battle axe is back. Better get my feet off this chair and turn to the one edge. Oh, uh, hello, honey. I didn't expect you back so soon. Well, with the money you give me to spend, I can't stay out very long. Mm-hmm, yeah. yeah. Nice hat you got on there, honey. New spring hat, huh? Yeah, the spring of 1941. <laughs> this is the fourth year I've been wearing this thing. Yeah, well, it uh, still look great on you, honey. Like I always say, when you buy expensive things that last long, because you was getting the best. I paid 98 cents for this hat. <laughs> Yeah, well, I want you to keep on paying 98 cents for your hats, honey. I don't want my wife running around in none of them 49 cent hats, honey. 98 cents for a hat. George, how long is we going to have to go on scrimping and saving? So wait a minute now, honey. Now just wait till my ship comes in. I'll buy you everything. I've been hearing about your ship for 20 years now. How can it come in? It ain't even been launched yet. <laughs> I'm just tired of living the way we do without no money. No, honey, I got money. Look here, I got $15. There it is right there. Yeah, saving it for a big deal that's coming up. Yeah, other women don't have to go through what I do. They get new clothes. They ride around in their own cars. We ain't never had no car, George. Yeah, well, we'll get automobiles someday, honey. Soon as they get them perfected. <laughs> yeah, they is too dangerous. Yeah, why, well, when I think that you are driving alone in a car, maybe you don't had a terrible accident. The car turns over two, three times and all smashed up with you underneath it. Honey, I just can't bear the thought of it. Oh, George. Oh, I mean it, honey. Cost a fortune to get these cars fixed, all right? Well, all I got to say is that if we don't get a car or uh, something pretty soon that I can get a little pleasure out of, I'm going to walk out of here. Yeah, well, well, don't walk out of here. We don't get a car and you can ride out of here, honey. <laughs> oh, oh. I ain't fooling you, George. Well, now, look here. Take it easy, honey. Look here. Now, don't worry about the car. Uh, maybe I'll be able to get a car some way. I'll make everything all right. Honest, I will. Well, you better do something. I'm warning you, George. <laughs> Well, Andy, you really look flush since you done made that money on that job. Oh, yeah, Amos. I done made $18 in four days. Oh, that's yeah, great. It was a good job, too. I was a night watchman on a building the government was putting up. They fired me. I don't know why. Yeah, well, wasn't you a good night watchman? Certainly I was. Of course, there was a little something missing one morning, but didn't amount to much. Oh, what was it that was missing, Andy? The steam shovel. <laughs> I still can't figure out how the thieves done stole that thing. I was right on the job there as usual, sleeping less than ten feet away from the thing. 
Now, wait a minute, Andy. You mean one of them big steam shovels that look like a caboose on a train? Yeah. Got that long iron girdle sticking up there with a the shovel on the end of it? Mm. And them heavy steel treads like a tractor? Mm. That was missing? Yeah, that's right. Well, I can't understand how the thieves could steal something like that without you hearing them. Yeah, well, they must have wore sneakers. <laughs> I done phoned the police right away, and I told them to keep on the lookout for a couple of fellas with a hot steam shovel. <laughs> oh, a hot steam shovel. Listen, man. I say, wait a minute. Here come the kingfish across the street. Oh, yeah, yeah. He called me on the phone a little while ago about me and him buying a car together. I kind of like that idea. Uh, come in, Kingfish. Well, uh, hello there, Anna. Uh, say, Amos, uh, wonder if you'd excuse me in there, and I got a little business to talk over. Oh, that's all right, Kingfish. I... Don't want to mess up the wheels of commerce. Well, I'll see you folks later. Yeah, so long. Well, Anna, like I told you on the phone, it'd be a great thing for me and you to have a car together. Yeah, I was just telling Amos that I kind of likes the idea. Yeah, well, in that case, it's all settled. Now, Anna, about that $18 you got, uh, when we goes to buy the car, I'm going to let you use that to make the first payment. That's called the down payment, you see. Mm. Yeah, and then I will make the second payment in about a year with my $15. Yeah, well, why don't you make the first payment? Because I love you. <laughs> because you was a sweet fella, and I don't want to do nothing to hurt you. Yeah. You see, Andy, every year a car goes down in value. Do, huh? Yeah, or they call it the depreciation. <laughs> so I am sticking myself with the depreciation. Yeah, well, why can't you make the first payment and let me get stuck myself with the depreciation? You was too sweet. <laughs> mm, yeah. Uh, say, one thing we ain't recited yet, Kingfish. When is you going to use this car and when is I going to use it? Yeah, well, now, I got that all figured out to you. I got that all figured I use the car every day from 8 in the morning until 12 midnight. Uh, that's uh, 8 to 12, four hours. Now, uh, then... Uh, then at 12 o'clock midnight sharp, you gets the car and has it all night long, all night, till 8 in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, you know why I'm doing that, Andrew? Because I am sweet. <laughs> no, no. It's just that I want to give you the best time for driving at night. Yeah. You drives along, there's not a soul around, not another car on the street. The world belongs to you. Yeah, the only thing is, it belongs to me at a kind of bad time, don't it? And look at you, maybe you think that I try to put something over on them most everybody like night better. They does? Yeah. Oh, say, wait a minute, funny thing, I just happen to have a poem in my pocket on the very subject. It'll prove my point. Hmm. Yeah, now, now, here, I done copied it right down here on the paper. Now, let me read to you. This is my, I copied this out of the book, you see. Yeah, go ahead, read The title it. of this is, Oh, Beautiful Night, I Love You, by Robert W. Longfellow. Got it right here, hit this. Yeah. Yeah, it go like this. How beautiful the night with the moon on high. Thou can see the North Star up in the sky. And if thou is in partners with a fella on a car, take it at night. I will never regret it. Nor star, nor star. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> uh, in a beautiful cinema there? Yeah. In that last line, though, he sure had to bring the North Star in from left field, didn't he? <laughs> no, that's just where it go there. Look, Kingfish, here's the thing in a nutshell. Now, I ain't no poet, and if we buy us a car, I want to crack at it in the daytime, too, while Longfellow's sleeping. <laughs> All right, Andy, if that's how you feel about it, we'll work it out somehow. Now, come on, let's go over to Joe's used car lot and pick out an automobile. Okay, let's go. Now, look, Andy, this is reporting. Now, when we is looking at a car, don't forget, we has got to act like we knows all about cars so the guy ain't going to jip us. Can't go wrong on this car, boys. It's the best buy on the lot and right within your price range. Oh, uh, yeah, sir, yeah, sir. Well, uh, I tell you right now, mister, we knows all about these cars, so you can't put nothing over on us. Uh, let's check the motor here, Andrew. Yeah, let's check that. We knows motors backwards, mister. All right, I'll lift up the hood. <laughs> nice hum to the hood there, all right. <laughs> Well, they are. Yeah, so we 
nose and stuff here. Now, just want to make sure the motor's all right, mister. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, they got all the stuff on there, ain't it, Andy? Oh, sure, everything. Uh, let's take a look at these pistons here. Mm. Those are spark plugs. <laughs> oh, yeah, new model, that's right, yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's look at the carburetor here. Okay, okay, go ahead. That's the generator. <laughs> oh, switched it around too, huh? Yeah. Uh, let's look at the, uh, the... You want to go first this time, mister? I thought you two know so much about cars. Yeah, we does, we does. Hey, Kingfish, look here, look at this tire. The rubber's gone and the fabric is showing through. Fabric's showing through, huh? Yeah. Well, don't worry about it. When the air starts showing through, that's the time to worry on it. <laughs> Say, Muscle, we'll buy this car. Okay, boys, just step over to my office on the other side of the lot here and we'll close the deal. Yeah. Give me the down payment. Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. Uh, what is it, Mr. Montague? <clears throat> that uh, 1926 Overland Roadster you bought for me yesterday, have you sold it yet? I just sold it a few minutes ago to a couple of fellas. They just drove off the lot in it. Uh, what's the matter? Well, I use that car in my business. I'm a window trimmer, and I left a clothing dummy in the rumble seat. I just forgot it was there. A clothing dummy? Yes, you know, one of those uh, women's figures we put in store windows. I had it all dressed up, and uh, I got to get it back. Well, I'll give you the address of the guys I sold the car to. Okay, thanks. Then I'll run over there for the dummy later this afternoon. a little old don't it, Kingfish. Uh, now that you mention it, uh, do shake a l- 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 little. Uh, matter of fact, Andy, it's healthier this way. You get the ride and you get your blood circulated at the same time. Oh, uh, Kingfish, uh, you showed that 1926 was a good year for Overlands like you told me. Bad years, you know, for automobiles. It's just like they have a champagne wine, you know. Uh, you know, uh, some years the champagne is more bu- 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 bubbly, bubbly than other years. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this show was a bu- 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 bubbly year for over, and for yeah. Well, Andy, as long as that's all that's wrong with the car, yeah, I think we can... What was that? The uh, front tire. I think the air is starting to show through. Oh, me. Well, it was a great car for the first six blocks. Well, uh, come on, Anna. Let's get up and get the thing fixed. That's the only thing to do. Yeah. Yeah, while I'm looking over the spare tire, you look in the rumble seat and see if there's any tools in there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, me, let me get this rumble seat open. See if there's any... Uh-oh, a dead woman. Uh, kingfish, kingfish. Uh, and, uh, uh, what, 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 what's the matter? Uh, what, what's wrong? Kingfish, uh, I don't know. Maybe there's something wrong with my eyes. Maybe I didn't really see it. Oh, uh, see what? Come here. Come here now. Now, when I raise the lid on this seat, you take a quick look in there. You ready? Oh, oh, close it. (laughs) You see this, huh? Yeah, look, Anna, take it easy. But just so we're sure about this thing, let's check with each other to see if we both see the same thing here. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, now now think before you answer this, Anna. Yeah. What did you see in there? A body. What'd you see? So far, we're as neck and neck on this thing. <laughs> now look, Anna, uh, what kind of a body would you say it was? A corpse. 
Did you notice anything peculiar about the corpse? Mm, yeah, it was dead. Double check. <laughs> but, Kingfish, what is we going to do with a dead woman on our hands? Yeah, we liable to be accused of murder. Oh, me. Andy, listen. We need legal advice and we need it bad. Come on, Andy. <laughs> Gabby, we in an awful mess here. Now, we, we in a lot of trouble. Yeah, and you got to help us, Gabby. I put you on these, boys. Don't worry about a thing. You was with your lawyer now. You ain't got nothing to worry about. Because your problems become mine. All problems become yours? That's right. All mine. Now, what's my problem? What's my problem? You got a dead body in our rumble seat. <laughs> boys, I was returning the problem unopened. <laughs> your trouble is you bought four wheels with two bodies. Boy, boy, two boy. Say, listen, Gabby, what is you talking about? You was out of your head. <laughs> I know I is. When I hear dead body, I don't know what I'm talking about. There's nothing that upsets me more than the word dead. It's so rigor <laughs> Well, 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 the thing is, Gabby, we definitely didn't kill the body. But is the police going to believe that? Yeah, or is they going to try to pin it on us? I'm afraid it is, boys. I sure am afraid it is. Boys, there's only one other thing you can do. Find somebody that's a sucker and sell him the car with the body in it. With the body already in it. Give him a guarantee for 10,000 miles and just hope he goes there. Hope he goes there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that, that's a good idea, Abby. Now, look here. And, uh, uh, look here. You go around and see if you can sell the car, maybe the shorty. And I'll try to sell it to somebody, too. That's definitely what you should do. Otherwise, if you hold on that body, you're going to be affected by the Burns curfew law. The Burns curfew law. The Burns curfew law? How you figure that? Well, when you get put in the electric chair by the law and they burned you, that's your curfew. That's the Burns curfew law by the way. A Rinso White Wash. With ease. A Rinso Bright Wash. With safety. Is it any wonder that women here, there, everywhere are singing? <whistles> Rinso White Wash. Oh, wash that's white as it can be. Rinso Bright. B R I G H T. Yes, Rinso keeps your colors bright. Get the for good for wash so white. Here's great advice you can't go wrong. <whistles> Rinso White. Rinse-O-Pot, and have you wash this long. Thick, soapy-rich rinse suds get out stubborn dirt fast. Get clothes rinse white and rinse bright with as little as a five-minute run in your washer. No wonder rinse the only soap recommended by the makers of 33 leading washers, including the famous Crosley. So team rinse with your Crosley for an easy, happy wash day. But remember, washer manufacturers have gone to war, so take good care of your Crosley. And don't forget, next wash day, make it a rinse white wash. With ease. A rinse bright wash. With safety. Shorty, I just dropped into your barber shop here because I want to talk to you for a minute. Yeah, well, but I, well, I, I'll, I'll talk to you. I'll, I'll be glad to talk to you, Andy. Yeah, well, uh, uh, tell me, Shorty, how is you getting along with gals these days? Who, who me? Yeah. Well, I, I was the most popular man. The gals was always calling me. I, I was snowed under with but my phone is ringing all the time. Can you get me a date? <laughs> See there? You see, just as I thought, you ain't got no gal. And I'll tell you the reason. Shorty, if you want gals, you gotta go out in here and get yourself an automobile. Yeah, but, but I, I'd be afraid. I, I'll hear some things that ain't nice about taking gals out driving in cars. What, what'd you hear? They get fresh, would you? Shorty, listen, you was talking silly. Listen. I got the perfect car for you to buy. A nice roadster with a rumble seat. Oh, yeah, I, I like a rumble seat. It, it, it sure would be, be, be nice driving out in the country. Yeah, you said it. You, you know something, Andy? I, I'd like to have a car. Mm. I'd, I'd, I'd like to go out some night on, 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 and park on, on a beautiful little hillside. Be in a rumble seat with some gals. Some nice, quiet gal. <laughs> just, just, just to sit there with her without her saying a word. That I can guarantee. <laughs> yeah, but, 
Yeah, but all, on the other hand, I, I, I don't know if I ought to own a car. And it, it, it's so dangerous, it, dangerous with all them women drivers on the road. <laughs> I, I, I know my uncle was. He got an accident, kind of a woman driver. She signaled for a left turn and fooled him completely. <laughs> Well, uh, you mean after signaling for a left turn, she went and made a right one? No, she made the left one. <laughs> well, listen, Shorty, I, I wouldn't worry too much about women drivers. Come on outside and take a look at the car. You're going to like it better than any other kind. Uh, oh, over, Overland Roadster, huh? Yeah. Uh, but, 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 uh, that, that ain't my favorite car. Well, what is your favorite car? Uh, a, a Chevrolet Coupe... A Coupe... A Coupe... A Coupe... A Coupe... A Coupe. A Coupe. Sedan. Yeah, well, day is good, too. Uh, now, there, there it is. There's the car, Shorty. Mm. Ain't she, honey? Hop in and take a trial spin. I'll wait you. Oh, boy, a, a, tri a trial spin. I, I, I'd love to take it for a spin. I, I, I'll go all around the block. I, I'll, I'll take it to the park. I'll, I'll let it out and, uh, on the main highway. I can't drive. <laughs> Kingfish, now that we ain't been able to pass this car off on Shorty or nobody else, I was awful scared. And no telling when we're going to get caught with that rumble seat and the, and the body in there and everything. Well, I know it, and I know it, and the police bound to blame us. And uh, does you realize this may mean the electric chair for both of us? Oh, no, Kingfish, not that. I was too young to die, Kingfish. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Well, look at me, and uh, I got a wife. Yeah, well, at least you got something to take the sting out of it. <laughs> Uh, Kingfish, look, I was too nervous to sit around here and think anymore. I'm going out for a walk. I got to get some air. I got to clear my mind. Well, Andy, wait a minute. I got to get out. No, I'm going. Oh, me. Andy leaving me here in this office like this, I'm just as scared as he is. I don't want to go to no electric chair. Oh, me. Uh, uh oh, who is walking up to the door here? Oh, hello. My name is Montague. Uh, uh, hello. Uh, what, what, what can I do for you? You uh, bought a 1926 Overland this morning, didn't you? Uh, no, 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 sir, mother, 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 no, sir, no, sir. I, I didn't buy no car. That, that's my friend done that. I, I had nothing to do with it. Well, uh, I'm the former owner of the car, and there's something in the rumble seat that belongs to me. Yeah, now I see what uh, belongs to you. <laughs> the man's a murderer. What was that? I didn't say nothing. Uh, you, you mean... Uh, you was responsible for what is in the rumble seat? Yes, I use it in my line of work. <laughs> Say, uh, you seem rather interested. You know, there's a shortage of help in this line. I might be able to uh, get you a job. Well, 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 I, I tell you... Well, of course, you'd have to have a union card. A union card? <laughs> they really got this stuff organized now, ain't they? Hey, look, Mother, I, I don't want no trouble. If it happens to be a body of yours by mistake, you can have it right back. Body? But I don't know what you're talking about. Look, all I want is the window dummy I left in the car you bought. I have to get to work now. Uh, window Did you say window dummy? Yes. Now, where is it? Say, m m so Mister, you just made me the happiest man in Harlem. Mister, look, the car is parked down the street about a block. The dummies in the rumble seat just go and take it away. Oh, well, thanks a lot. Well, goodbye. Oh, uh, so long. Oh, so the body was just a window dummy, huh? Say, that give me an idea. I gonna call Sapphire and tell her to get all dressed up to go riding in our new 1926 Overland. I just think of a way to own it cheap. It looked like Andy Brown is going to get smacked with the best scheme I done had yet. Hey, Kingfish, Kingfish, listen, I got something to now, tell wait you. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute, now listen, before you talk here, Brother Andy, don't tell me nothing. I've been thinking things over. You is, huh? Andy, of all my friends, you is the only one I really love, and it's a beautiful love that I got for you. Now, look, this ain't going to be another poem, is it? Now, look, when I'm in the middle of telling you how I love you, will you keep your big mouth shut? I love you, and I love you. And I just can't bear to have you take the rap for what's in that rumble seat. You mean you gonna take the rap? Yes, Ander. I gonna take the car off your hands for $15 cash, no discount. Okay, Kingfish, if that's the way you want to do All right. the deal. All right, Ander. Here's the $15. Here. Good, thanks. And now that I got the money, all I got to say is that you show is crazy to do a thing like that. 
Oh, Creel, Zelda. Uh, well, now, as long as you're getting a little huffy and puts it that way, son, I'll tell you a thing or two. <laughs> that body that was in the rumble seat wasn't no body at all. It was just a window dummy, and now I owns the car. So I ain't so crazy of all, is it? Uh, Andy, you just done got smacked by a smart man. That's all, son. Look, Kingfish, it so happened that I knows it was a dummy, too. When I was outside before, I took a good look in the rumble seat, and I seed it. Uh, but, but, uh, and, uh, uh, how come you sold me the car for only $15? It cost 18 Kingfish, you remember you say I just got smacked by a smart man? Yeah. Your car just got smacked by a Mack truck. Just one more thing, folks, and a mighty important one at that. Andy and I would like to have you pay special attention to what Hollow Wilcox is going to tell you. Well, I don't think any of you ladies really like to scrub and boil clothes, do you? I thought not. And you don't have to, either. Not with Rinso. Why, a short soaking, as little as ten minutes in those soapy, rich Rinso suds, a few quick finger rubs on extra soil places, and your clothes are ready to rinse. And what a wash. White clothes... Rinso white. And washable colors. Rinso white. Rinso bright. Safely wash after wash. Use Rinso for spring cleaning jobs, too. Rinso soapy rich suds fairly whisk the dirt off floors, woodwork, and windows. Fair enough, isn't it, folks? And in me, well, we go along with that idea. Just try Rinso. Good night, folks. Good night, folks. <laughs> us next Friday evening at this same time when the makers of Rinso will again present the Amos and Andy show. Say, uh, have you ever heard of a man being forced to court his own wife after being married 20 years? Well, that's the strange predicament the kingfish is in next week, so be sure to listen in. The Amos and Andy show is broadcast to our fighting men all over the world through the facilities of the Armed Forces Radio Service. This is Harlow Wilcox saying good night to all of you from all of us. And reminding you to turn your used fats and greases into red ration points. Your butcher will give you two red points plus four cents in cash for every pound of waste fat you bring him. So save every scrap of used kitchen fat and grease in a clean can. And when the can is full, take it to your butcher promptly for extra red points. <laughs> Swan is pure as fine Castile. See how smooth your hands will feel. Baby mild for everything. Swan's a soap that makes us sing. Swan is mild for baby, mild for you. Swan soap, swan soap. White floating swan gives rich suds for dishes and light laundry. Swan soap, swan soap. This is the National Broadcasting.